Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. For all you good folks out in uh, not on the Memphis area on 790 AM, but all of our good friends out in Brownsville on 1520 AM and 95.3 FM. And, of course, News Talk 101.5 in Jackson, Tennessee, which uh, Bill Cooksey is familiar with. Very familiar. Growing with. up in the Jackson area. Right. and uh, Knows that's a, a great station. Mm-hmm. Bill is in with us on this fourth Saturday, and so is Ron Wong as we talk uh, outdoors every Saturday morning. It's hard to believe that this is the final Saturday in uh, November. It is flying fast, and I hope everybody had a successful opening weekend, uh, whether it was ducks, whether it was uh, deer. I've heard some great reports uh, from our deer hunters, and we'll talk a little bit later in the show with Chris Knight out at Shelby Forest Taxidermy to get some of that. So we're going to kind of talk a little bit amongst ourselves here as we wait to try to hook up with Ron Stallings at uh, TTI Blakemore Fishing Products about their new... About their new live and shot. Live and shot lure. Live and shot lure, yeah. Okay. And, you know, talking about live and shot and fishing... You know, this crazy weather we've had, it's been cold, cold, warm. Yep, up and down. A little bit water of Water temperature now is but probably. But the water temperature now what? is between the mid-50s and the low-50s, depending on, you know, what time of the day. Uh, your best times to fish are any time after 10 o'clock when the sun gets up. Uh, that's because that's you just uh, say that. Because well, you... you, 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 you <laughs> but, Ron but, would uh, say the same in the summer, I think. I think it would be the you same know, time, but, uh, yeah. There's actually a... Water temperature warms up. Water temperature varies about two, two and a half degrees. Oh, we have fall. During the day. Uh, yeah, during the fall. So it, it really works out. And uh, i got to tell you, the, so, the crappie uh, are all over, whether it's uh, Sardis, Enid, Grenada, Pickwick, Horseshoe, um, our buddy Ronnie Tice he's, over uh, there. I see that he's catching them, He man. is wearing them out. Uh, yeah. And I have to tell you guys, he's not fishing deep. Yeah. And um, he's coming out with a new line of jigs. Larry, you and I will have to go back Ooh, over yeah, there and yeah. and get some of these crappie and catch them. And, you know, so your wife will have something to do um, after the trip. Did you see that? And speaking of that, before we jump into that, did you see that uh, Billy Doyle caught uh, uh, that sauger, sauger in yeah. the yeah. Wolf River? I, mm-hmm. I, I have caught sauger there. Well, I had in a years picture of years it. ago. You, you, well, well, this was before it. cell phones and before cameras. Before <laughs> yeah, cameras. we didn't always have a picture yeah, of everything. I mean, we caught. You know. and that's what uh, yeah, I wrote about Sunday. Uh, mem- some of our memories. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's pretty amazing. And and you know, believe it or not, the Mississippi River has sauger, and I've caught quite a mm-hmm. few of them there too. Okay, but finding the Wolf River and seeing that picture was uh, kind of unusual for me. Yeah. All right, we've got him on the line now. Uh, always good to talk fishing with Ron Stallings. Um, uh, TTI uh, Blakemore Fishing uh, and Ron. Uh, good morning, Ron. Good morning. How y'all doing? Hey, we're doing great. And uh, Ron Wong was kind of filling us in on the on the new lure that uh, the live and shot shot and lure. That's uh, it's, yes, sir. And I saw a picture of it and everything like. That. So the two Rons can talk about this. Discuss <laughs> it, Ron Wong. Well, good morning again, um, Ron Stallings. Uh, out of Wetumpka, yes. Alabama. I want you to say that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And uh, hey, Ron, you know I've had a chance to play with a new live and shot, and I sure what I a, knew he what had. What a great, yeah. great lure it is! And how did you guys come about um, putting this together? Or, or with yeah, the talk about bait? It. Well, basically, if you guys are all uh, familiar with our standout uh, drop shot hook, yeah. we mm-hmm. decided that. Uh, you know, nothing better than <clears throat> tying flies on hooks, and why not make it look like something better than just a hook? So I tied right. up a few of my own and and uh, started using them, and they started I started having some success with them, and then uh, we made some modifications and put the good eyes on there and and flared the <laughs> hair and made a smaller version and a bigger version. One, you know, the, the live shot and has three different patterns. You okay. have the small fry, the large fry, and then the shiner. And you have a size four, a size two, and a size one hook, uh, respectively, and uh, it works. It works very well. There's no need for soft plastics. And uh, to this date, since I cast, there have been 12 species of fish caught on this lure so far. Twelve. 
That's pretty yeah, amazing. Salt, salt and salt and fresh water. Mm-hmm. Salt and fresh water. I, I, I look at it, and I, I'm a fly fisherman, so I said, man, that is a nice-looking streamer with a really <laughs> weird hook. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, I, I see it, and I, and I think I can catch striper. I can catch bluefish. I can catch redfish. I can catch speckled trout. Everything. Plus bass yeah, and crappie, in theory. Keep going, you know, 12. you got to name, eight minutes, you gotta name 12. Eat. 12 is amazing. If they'll eat minnows, they'll eat it. That's more than that's 12. true. Yeah, and that's there's yeah, a lot of exactly. fish. Exactly, a lot of fish will eat. And, and a lot, a lot of the a lot of the saltwater fish that have been that have been caught on it so far is reds, trout, snook, flounder, saltwater striper, and then you have got smallmouth, largemouth, spotted bass, crappie, bluegill. Um, uh, somebody caught a catfish on it by accident. I yeah. know they were crappie fishing, but they got a catfish yeah. on it. And another guy got a chain pickerel. Another guy got a gar on it. Well, let me oh, say, yeah. I was at the, at the at the fishing pier at Gulf Shores of this past weekend. Mm-hmm. I love to walk out there and see these people with all their different lures and all, and they're sure. lined up out there. They pay their three dollars and they go out there. And I spent about an hour. And one, I looked it up. I asked him what he was fishing with. He was fishing on the pier mm-hmm. with that lure. Now, oh wow! Yeah, now, <laughs> cool. Yeah. It makes sense. Well, I well, mean, they're dropping straight down. Man, what a perfect bait! For you their, know, you, that yeah. you put a weight down, yeah. and this hook's standing out straight, yeah. twelve, fifteen feet of water off the pier in Gulf Shores. And I said, "That thing looks like a." I got so I had to go back to the website and look it up because uh, I, I I didn't ask the guy, but I said. That's what that is, and sure enough. So you've got a, you've got fishermen on the pier in the, in the Gulf of Mexico fishing with this lure. So uh, well, that's a that's that's really good <laughs> to hear. And I and I will tell you guys a little secret that I've used oh, over the secret. years when I've been when I've been drop shotting. Uh huh. Um, over the years, I have taken our standout hook or just about any drop shot hook that I've used over the years. Mm-hmm. And I never use. Uh, I hardly ever ever use any kind of a weight um i've always used like a flipping jig right uh, for mm-hmm. bass and i've used i use a road runner when i'm crappie fishing mm-hmm. and instead of instead of having that thing directly on the bottom you have it just off the bottom so that blade turns and then you have your live bait on your on your uh on your road runner if you want to use it then you got the live shot and right above that so it looks kind of kind of schooly looking mm-hmm. and you can catch two fish at a time on it but you schooly, can only yeah. do that <laughs> you can only do that where the law allows that you can have multiple hooks in the water ah uh, yeah. yeah and that's a great great idea and uh, and a lot of our crappie fishermen do that of course you know i'm using this for what? For bass fishing. Yeah, I thought you were, for bass. And, and, yeah. and I have to tell you, it is amazing what it's doing right now. How's um, it doing current? How's it doing current? Well, you just add more weight. You add more weight to it. Okay. And it'll work in current very well, and it stands out. Uh, and with the feathers on it, I mean, it, it just pulsates. And it, so you how don't long even it, have to move it. How long has you this lure been it. out? I mean, what are we talking about? Well. Oh. Well, we we started designing it at the beginning of last year. I thought you did. And, yeah. Uh, okay. We brought it to we brought it to ICAST and broke it out at ICAST uh, in July. Uh huh. And we've been we've been shipping it ever since August. So it's, <laughs> okay. It's it's been doing very very well for us. And and uh, you know Ron said that you add more weight, you can always add a heavier road runner too. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Some kind of a lure. The road because runner. road, sure. road runners get up to what's the biggest road runner you have now, Ron? We have half ounce and three eighths and a half ounce Pro, road yeah. runner. Okay, and yep. I, I bet yep. I've caught tons of fish on the road runner. You know, I love the oh, name yeah, of yeah, it, you, of course, yeah. and I don't mm-hmm. know how, how many colors does this lure come in. Uh, right now it comes in eight. Eight only eight. Okay, what is it? Dynamic purple and uh, <laughs> names of that's that's my well. We we've got we've got. Uh, chartreuse shad. We've got oh, yeah. Um, yeah. emerald got, shad. One is one is one is black shad. Okay. Uh, we've All got right. crawfish, which has been outstanding for smallmouth. Okay. Uh, All we right. got a, we got a pearl. We got a red shad. Oh, that red shad. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's one more, and I can't think of what it is. Well, well you got eight shad. colors. That's all you need. Hey, man, we got to go. Uh, Ron, thank you. And I, I want to say one thing on the air here. I appreciate uh, you, your family, the the company over the years. 
uh, every time we need lures or whatever it might be for a fishing rodeo, uh, we can count on you guys. I don't know how many well, you've given away, uh, and that that uh, the guy we still miss, but before you, you know that uh, sure, sure he touched a lot of lives, and I'm so happy to see that uh, that that connection continues. At, uh, Absolutely, at, at, we're we're happy that you're on our side, and and uh, anytime you need anything. Just right. give us a holler, and, and if anybody wants to get any of those live shot and lures, they can go to ttiblakemore.com and shop away and have fun. All right. Thank you, Ron Stallings. Have a great one. Uh, happy holidays to you too, buddy, okay? Absolutely. Y'all take care, and thanks for everything you do. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's take a break. All Come right, right back. Uh, talk a little taxidermy with the one and only Chris Knight of uh, our good friends at Shelby Forest Taxidermy. And don't forget, at the end, we, we, we're going to talk to KVD. The one and only. I hope so. All right, be right back. Mm-hmm. 